What's going on, everybody? This is Temperature Check. I am your host, as always, man. Mystic Check the Temperature. How y'all doing? Before I get started with today's content, I must do what I always do anytime you see me on your screen, and that's thank you for the likes, comments, shares, most importantly, those subscriptions. So whether you be a day one fan or somebody who just started rocking with the channel today, man, I greatly appreciate it. And if you're loving what I got going on my YouTube, you want to see more of me, man? Hit me up on Instagram. Hit me up on Twitter. It's just that simple. Mystic Check the Temperature on both of them platforms. But over 700 subscribers, I can't thank y'all enough, man, for the continued support. But you know what we're trying to do. We're trying to walk down 1K. So let's make sure that we're sharing the broadcast, man. Share the channel out to your friends. It's a lot of versatility on this channel now. So everybody can take something from this channel, man. So tell your moms, tell your baby moms, tell your grandma, tell your brother, tell your sister, whoever. Additionally, this temperature check of Pearl is for everybody. So if you need a hat, hit me up in the comment section. You need one of the four colorways of the hoodies that we got coming up, hit me up in the comment section. Hit me up on my social media platforms. But let's get into some battle rap, man, you know? Let's get into what I really got on YouTube for in the first place, man. So they had a battle drop on the URL app earlier today, man. Ryder versus JC. You know, I'm still waiting on this Cuban versus next, but we, whatever. But Ryder versus JC dropped on the URL app today. And you know, it was a lot of good, a lot of good noise coming out of Born Legacy 11 regarding this battle. Definitely heard that it was one of the better battles on the card. Um, and it proved to be that, man. So you got JC coming off of the uh, Born the Legacy 9 and 10, respectfully. Born Legacy 9, Battle Prep. Born Legacy 10, Battle Rigs. You know, his 2020 has definitely been had some peaks and some valleys, man. Um, again, having peaks, definitely had some high moments in 2020. But, you know, he's definitely had some slip-ups, and he's definitely had some... Um, he got bodied in 2020. We can't lie. We can't not forget that Loso body in 2020. But, solid, solid dude, man. Just... You know, someone who is definitely an elite pin, but because he kind of has the Danny Myers syndrome, um, the the Danny Myers effect, Danny Myers stereotype, you want to call it, they battle everybody. So, you know what I'm saying, their their value is not as high um, in a lot of eyes of the higher ups in the URL. However, when we talk about just the talent level and the elite pin and the wordplay, it ain't too many people in the URL that's better than JC. Um, you know, he doesn't choke. He doesn't stumble. He pretty much brings three consistent rounds of fire material every time. Um, but then you have a Ryder, man. Ryder has a very interesting 2020. Definitely had a breakout performance against Mike Pete. The Silk one was was branded in uh, 2020, man. That seem, seems to be his trademark. Um, but again... He kind of stumbled up against Loso was out. Loso really be putting potholes in people's uh, careers. I don't. Okay, Loso, I see you, man. You got a consistent. You got some 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 consistent wins in the URL. I appreciate that, Loso. We gonna, maybe I need to talk to Loso. Get Loso on the, on uh, the platform. But man, we, let's get into some of these bars, man. You know, anytime I got, anytime you see this notebook, you know what's in here. Bars. And I started with this note, but we almost done with it, too. What does that tell you, man? I'm working hard for y'all. And you see the cash app, man. Go ahead and drop a couple dollars, man. You know how I'm working. You know how hard I'm working. Help a brother out. So it's on Ryder in the first. Ryder comes out with a nice a nice opening line. He says, my last two ops talked about my DUI and drinking habit. And the first thing you do is give me it from the yak. I like that. I like that a lot. Then he takes the attic angle towards JC. And again, like I mentioned earlier, JC had a rough 2020. And there were some allegations about JC possibly using some illegal substances. So he says, hip hop real interview, Finch. Stealing 150 from Loso for a future, Finch. Again, just really driving home that you are a drug addict and that is why you are acting like a fiend and people think you are one. He says, you have less substance in your battle because of the substance that you're using? Mmm. Definitely like that. One tray, two tray. JC dying at 33 again? I like definitely like that. If you didn't know Jesus Christ died at 33, you're going to see a lot of JC flips. You know what I'm saying? Here's a basketball bar for my basketball heads. 
AI to Denver trade the answer to your nugget. So AI was originally on Philadelphia 76ers. He then got traded to the Denver Nuggets. I definitely like that. He said, BC, AD, JC in the middle of it before Christ, after. Again, Ryder had a pretty good round. This, this first round was good, man. I definitely liked this first round. He even had the New Jack City reference. Pookie and New Jack, I can view the Carter from the inside. Because Pookie, he was an undercover, you know what I'm saying? He started off as a drug dealer, started recording things so they could uh, take down the uh, the drug cartel, Nino Brown. Got me? He said, drop him from the cross. Make me a believer. I want to see if he can rise again. That was fire. And then here's the last line I got for a rider in the first. He said, the body numb. The field missing Fresh Prince reunion. Cause you know Fresh Phil, Uncle Phil died, so he wasn't at the Fresh Prince reunion. That was a fight. Rest in peace, Uncle Phil. For real. Very, very, very good round for Ryder. A strong first round. We gotta see what JC got though. He says, "You raise the steak, I raise a blade. You cooked, center cut. You raise." You raise a blade, you razor blade, center cut, double entendre. Out the first, the first line is it has a double entendre. He said, You did all that dreaming to win a tournament, even started to pillow talk, making reference to the fact that Ryder, you threw Mike P under the bus to win a tournament, and you still lost the tournament. And you was pillow talking about what you was doing with his girl. And it was a lot of stuff going on. This 2020 was just weird, man. JC goes, we didn't need to hear you got P. We actually seen it happen in the battle. Alluding to the fact that Ryder, you know, he's very braggadocious about the women that he's been with. You know what I'm saying? He's a ladies man. So, you know what I'm saying? He got he got a nice little list. You know what I'm saying? A little, nice little catalog from what I'm hearing. So he's saying, man, you ain't got to tell us about that because we already seen you do that in a battle. You turned P in the battle. Tough. He said, that's exactly why you lost. No moral compass? That's a double entendre? That's exactly why you're lost. Moral compass? You have no moral compass because you were willing to throw your friend under the bus for a bat? Again, it's different. Here's one I don't know if many people got. They only want to hear thinking Dale Earnhardt, so I'm going to give them the same ending? Cause you know Dale Earnhardt Jr. lost a day. He, he lost his life at Daytona. I don't know if y'all know Daytona 500, Dale Earnhardt. Just saying. Do not expect to be seen uncut if you if you up after hours. BET uncut? I'm from St. Louis, man. Who ain't never watched Tip Drill? Hmm? You got a credit card? I'm not coming for no peace. I'm coming with a peace. Just this. Just this, just this, double entendres again. At my lowest, I could dog walk Brian. I'm Peter Griffin. Strong, strong first rounds by both. I'm not gonna lie to you. I gave Ryder a slight edge in the first. So I got I got Ryder taking the first, man. On to the second. Ryder comes out in the second, and starts to show his personality, man. Starts to crack a couple jokes. He said, when T-Top brought out that dancer, you were mad at that. You were thinking to yourself, if this wasn't battle rap, I would battle back. Again, clever, alluding to the fact that everyone knows that JC was an aspiring background dancer. Sent a couple videos of Chris Stokes back in his younger days. But then Ryder goes, GTA op, everything coming off of you when you die. Because when you die in, in Grand Theft Auto, you lose everything, like all your money, all your jewelry, everything gone. He says, reminds me of the movie Big Daddy. When Julian spit, it barely touched the street. Because when Julian in the movie Big Daddy, when Julian was spit, like it was, a, it was disgusting. But the goal was to get the spit as close to the street as you possibly can and suck the spit better up. Again, that's nasty. Not something I would recommend, but you know, do you. Always want to say it's up there. And it's stuck there till it's up there and it's stuck there. 
Now, hold on to that line. Hold on to that line. Everybody want to say it's up there till it's stuck there, till it's up there and it's stuck there. Hold on to that line because it's going to come back very soon, very soon. Jake uh, Ryder says, you said battle rap is a hungry man's dinner. We never needed prep to eat plates. Let it process meals. That's the reason he ain't been getting bigger plates. Come on, man. Because, first of all, a hunger man is, you don't need prep for that. Because, first, you just put it in the microwave, first and foremost. And then it's processed. Processed meal. That's what a hungry man is, a processed meal. And he's saying, that's the reason you ain't getting bigger plates? That's fire. He said, this is the second time we seen JC uh, turn water to wine. Basically alluding to the fact that, JC, you were highly, highly upset at the fact that, at the end of the day, Sue Surf got loaded lust before you did. You did a lot of complaining. You did a lot of blogging. So he said you turned water, water into wine with that one. That is all I have for Ryder in a second. I'm going to tell you, it wasn't enough. It was not enough in a second. JC goes... They say he was knock. He was a. They say he was a knockout on YouTube. So was Joe Jahab. Oh my God, that shook the building. There wasn't even that many people in the room to shake the building, but that shook the building. He said, "Only reason we think the streets raise you, we seen Av treat you like a son," alluding to the fact that Av and Ryder have been going back for for years. You know what I'm saying? They have a friendly rivalry. But you know, Av always drunk. Av man put his arm, his arm around uh Ryder and drag him around the parking lot, kind of sunning him a little bit. He said, just like Lauren, he'll drop something shows miseducation. The miseducation of Lauren Hill, one of the greatest albums of all time, in my opinion. Now remember when I say what when Ryder said in the second, he when he said, um. When it's up there, it's stuck there. Till it's up there and it's stuck there. Here is very, it's just a comparison of the different level of pins. He said, when I go up, it's going to stay up. We're going to defy us some physics. He t and I'm not, I don't know if that was a mid-round rebuttal. It, it sounded like a written, but if it was a written, that was phenomenal counter-writing. Phenomenal counter-writing. Here's one of the lines of the entire battle. He said, you even spell your name lame, but I'm going to show you why I am the difference. Because Ryder, he spells his name, Ryder spells his name R-Y-D-A. Ryder, and he says, I'm going to show you why I am the difference. You take the Y out, put the I in. Mm. Yes, sir. It, it was it it was levels in the second round. It was levels shown in that second round. He said he didn't risk his life and signed his name on the line. He reaped the benefits because JC calls himself the Reaper, man. He is the Reaper of Souls. So what he's saying is you signed your name up for this and now you are reaping the benefits. Crazy, he said. And then JC has a, a New York City Times Square thing angle which is crazy he said you don't gotta be a street performer to draw a body it's a difference Times square come on in Times square you know the street performers and the dancers and they draw bodies he said you want to stand under an umbrella and rap no pun intended it's tough and then the last line i got for jc in this second, man. Smokey outside the house. This sh guaranteed to hit paper? Because you remember in the movie Friday, S S Smokey was outside taking the sh and he was wiping it with newspaper. It's levels. It was levels shown in this second round. I have it clear. Clear 1-1 one, one going to the third. We got to see what's going on, man. So it's on Ryder in the third. And I'm going to tell you, he comes out with rebuttals, rebuttals. In the second round, man, you see JC kind of popping lock. 
there was a rebuttal for that. Ryder says, that little move you did, that was crack. Told y'all he wanted to battle back. Again, clever. However, let's get to the rebuttal of the entire event. The entire card itself. This is the rebuttal that everyone was talking about. Again, he said, he said, Ryder, I'll show you why I am the difference. What else is missing? The ER. And I'm going to put you in it? Oh, my God. Because if you're trying, to, you're trying to really spell Ryder correctly, it's R-I-D-E-R. JC, he's saying your, your spelling is incomplete. So that ER, he's going to put you in it? My goodness. When you start replying like that. Shout out to Vita Fly and Showtime. When you start replying like that, my goodness. He said, you got in too deep, Jay Reed, the situation. It's a setup on God. Crazy. Then he talks about JC battling so much with this punchline. It's quality over quantity. The value drops if you can get it in bulk. Basically, your stock is dropping because you battle so much. The nine piece, Tyrese, get your sweet lady hit. Sweet lady, won't you be mine? Y'all ain't know? Quit playing with me. <laughs> you don't know why we quit playing. <laughs> but no, man, let's keep it going, man. He said, then he, make, he points out that JC has never headlined a smack event. He said, you've never headlined a smack event. I headlined a volume with Swave on day two, and everybody started laughing, man. Does that count? Does a date, if you headline day two, does that count? We need to talk about that. I think it does, man. All credit to, to Ryder, man, if you're able to do it. Then he's able to talk about his experience as the silk one, which I thought was clever. He said, first silk went viral. I had fun out there. That was against my P. Second silk, duplicated. Got a little tough out there. Because in the second time he wore the silk, Loso also had a matching silk shirt. It looked a little crazy. He said, people were posting prices, making fun of, of me like my pockets ain't dumb out here. Like I can't afford to drop 1200 on a one-time win. And the entire time he had this oversized coat, which I thought was super fly. But then he pulls off the coat to reveal that he has a $1,200 silk shirt on. Now, why he's spending $1,200 and why that is something to brag about, I don't know. But, you know, more power. If you got it, flaunt it. I guess you got it. Good for you. But I'm going to let y'all know, after he did those rebubble, rebut, after he did those rebuttals, he had some slips and blips. And had, he stumbled to get his word, stumbled to get his words back and his momentum back. It was a good round, but what do we say about good rounds? Good rounds can be beaten. And this JC, this JC is on one. Round three is on him. He said, he talked, he rebuttaled the fact that JC had the silk sh shirt on. He said, bought that silk back. That's sh butter. Every glance, I can't help but think and live in color because it was a bright silk shirt. It was a nice rebuttal. It was clever. It got a good chuckle. He said, I reached for the 40 faster than Norb's attorney, and it's a long shot. Because you know Norb's is suing for 40 million. And it's a long shot that he actually sees that. But you know, again, more power to you. I'm not about to hear to say to stop your bag, because luckily you ain't coming after mine. He said, When you got a handle on the game, like this, everything you do will shake them up. That's because you know if you, your handles is nice on the game, the the game will vibrate. You'll shake them up. Come on, man. He said two different lions, Animal Planet never branded the circus. So you have your so you have the real animals from Animal Planet. Then you got the planet in the circus. That's two different type of lions. You have a tame lion. You got a wild lion. Crazy. He said try to help bring Ryder to me on an app. Your career still your. St Career, look, let me let me rewind that. Let me rewind that. Try to help bring Ryder to me on an app. Your career still won't get a lift. Alluding to the fact that you know, lift is an app service. Ryder, this this battle went straight to the app. 
again, I told you, man, it is levels to penmanship. It is levels to lyricism. It is levels to wordplay. And that is what we're seeing here. He said, Smack wanted him to be a target online. Now you picking him up curbside? Because if you shop Target online, you can pick it up curbside. They'll bring it out to you, man. That is fire. He said, we can go from reservations to injured reserve. I canceled plans. The last line I have for JC in this battle, Elon Musk ain't the only reason we don't need Ryder to operate. Come on, because Elon Musk owns Teslas. Teslas drive themselves. We know how this goes. You know what the... I have it 2-1 clear. I have it 2-1 clear. And it's very clear. That second and third is very clear. I'm talking leaps and bounds. But Ryder did good, though. Ryder had a good showing. It just wasn't enough. I know it's been a lot of talk about JC. And, you know, Loaded Lux came out on Good's channel a couple days ago and said JC messed up the pack. He fumbled the bag for this battle. I'm going to tell you right now. He might have fumbled the bag in the past. Give him an opportunity again. This JC performance rebuttals, showing the personality, showing the versatility in his bars, this JC is going to be tough to beat. Y'all better watch out for JC in 2021, man. But y'all let me know who y'all got in the battle. Y'all let me know what some of the best bars that y'all heard. Also, again, this temperature check of Pearl is on the way. Hit me up in the comment section. Hit me up on my social media. This is temperature check. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. And like always, we just getting started.